So the first movement, of course, is ikkyo. Because ikkyo means first teaching. So I'm here, I'm going to turn you to prosperous breath. So this is like rising, except now I'm going to let my hand be palmed down. As he grabs it, I'm going to let it splash the fingertips up, splash the fingertips over, and turn. So I rise here. Don't fight this. Be strong. Ugh. This just flashes up, splashes over. See what happens. Then turn your hips. You can kind of walk through. So, you can see, most people start to turn too early. First you get this one. That's the first movement, ikkyo. So when we do this, I want you to, if it looks like this without him, then when I do it with him, don't change it. And some of you are all beautiful. And then, a medi you know, this is a meditative movement. Nothing changes. Now the same side of this breath. And I'll let my fingers come out this way. Uh, open up, shift back. Open up, shift back. It's a little different from our normal video. Remember, I'm on the line of force. I'm not able to get off this line of force. So I have to maneuver things. How do I get over there? If I try to go over there right away, it would be very strong. Do I go this way? This way. Now, right here, it's going to be hard to get in. So I open up. And now, do that. Not your Okay, thank you. All right, so now, uh, cross wrist rest. It's not the close story of Shemo or he's coming around maybe for trouble. And as he does that, I'm here and I bring this to my, to my thigh. I'm not going to finish it down here. Because that's not very good. <laughs> so, so it's here, it's coming around, here, and then I just want you to, it's kind of a stylistic feel, uh, the slot feel. If it comes up, it's on. Okay, this side. One, two. Make it part of your thigh. If I need to apply it. Don't. I don't have much. Okay. That's Santiago from Bushiro Mowai. So in this next one is the only time we get to move our feet. We're going to step, pivot, step. So we can do Shiro Nage. Right? So we're going to do Ikkyo, Ikkyo, Santiago, Shiro Nage. It's ten times shionage, and here's the first thing. Everybody's going to want to move this with that. But don't do it. <laughs> so how do I do ten times here? He's very strong. I just find the way through. So again, remember how I make, I don't want to fight his fingers. I want to become one with the back of the, with his palm, and then I point forward. Now, all I'm going to do is, once I get here, I'm going to step with him. Then he stays put, and I drop him. So I'm going to, here, send him through, step. And then I'm going to step back, make sure it's safe, and drop him. Don't, don't, you know, drop it now. I want you to face back. It's a little different from our usual one. But don't, you know, everybody's going to want to do this. Don't do that. So start facing this direction. Here's the first hard part. Work on that. Because this will be what happens. And then you'll say, oh, well, then I'll do this. <laughs> the shortcuts, you have to do that. Point where you want to go now, touch. Step. Rise. Here's your rise. Let it come naturally. Do the close. Stay safe. So this is a little bit different. Shihonage. So it's Ikkyo, 
concept is here, here, here. Okay. Munetsky for the guy a little bit bigger and just like on this one when he held my wrist and I got him to turn anything here. When he's got a fist, I'm going to use this kind of feeling. My elbow and my hip. Not for my grip. Elbow and hip. Punch in, I say. Oh, thank you. Okay. I can fun for a little resistance. Now I want you to practice with minimal resistance. I'm going to be Luke to show how to be Luke. So the first one is you're, you're facing that way. Come on up. Splash. You kill. You kill. Shionagi is going to make sure he falls on this side. Try to move through the ball on that side. So you're over here from the next. Or on this side. Nikyo, he doesn't have to fall all the way down. I'm not going to force that. Nikyo, that one he does. Sankyo, control. Shionage. You can keep going through a little bit to your, so that you go over here. Munetsky. He's on this side. Next one's going to be coming this way. He's a little stylized. Okay? We, you know, we're trying to get him to understand these five movements. Nikyo, Nikyo, Sankyo, Shionage. Cut the guys. They're all wrist movements. So work with your partner and, and try to. Just, you know, don't give a lot of resistance. Try to help your partner. If they're not doing well, just help them do the movement. Don't fight them. Okay? On this next one, we're going to do two at a time. Time save. So I just did Tony Geish, and he's going to come show Nucci. I'm going to come here, draw him through, and put him down. And he's going to stay over on this side. Come up, and then he's going to do Yoko Nucci. I'm going to do... So we do the Kokinage and Makiotosh. Show him the Uchi. I bring him, say put. The, if he were solid, I'd be bringing him through with my elbow on his back and drop him. And then Yoko Uchi here. See what I do? I bring it in. A little more style. Another second. So show him the Uchi. Send him through and drop him. 
And then Yoko Minuchi, I feed it into this one. The last one in this particular series, Showman, I feed it, but palm is up, not down. This, and then I turn him, and then, so this is Tink Tong here. And he comes here, here. Kind of, we don't do this much. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's a nice technique. I'm not trying to throw his head or anything. As I come through, I bring his his head's here, and then I come. He comes. One. I just want you to do that one. It's similar to Kokinage. Our Kokinage looks like this. Right? It's a little, little more small than this. Palm up, spin him around. Yes. You don't go out from the side of the No, this is this is this is what's interesting here. It's rooted to Aikido, where we have to and he strikes here. Right? I make him go off the line. So this is gonna improve then when I get a chance to get off the line, of course the technique's even better. <laughs> right? This is gonna improve your technique because I have to figure out how to do this without getting off the line of force with my feet. But you know, I'm off the line of force with my mind and taking off. Alright, thank you. So after I do that, it's King Khan, King Khan. He's over here. Both the strap. This is sort of like scam. Doesn't look like much extension. Both hands. Dip. And so those are the last three movements. How they do it? Hang on. Hang on. Then both hands. And then finally, circle. I'll let you do those three. We don't have much time. But um, hang on. Turn all the way and you with your elbow more than your fingers. And if you do fingers, you really come back up because you do elbow. This one, just say, oh, I'm going to bring you around with my scan and then drop you. <laughs> so. And this one, do so. Show 
as fast as I'd ever do it. That was just to sort of show you the flow of it. You can also go slow. Medium is probably best. Um, many people have asked, you know, why don't you get off the line of force? Well, first, this was an exercise in being rooted to the ground. And that's a way to be meditative. So it's hard when your mind is dancing around with your feet. Second, by forcing myself to get off the line without moving my feet, I have to get better at how to connect, how to just slightly, you know. Usually we don't deflect. But now I'm going to deflect and move it. Um, this is going to make your art much better. And third, I like it to be realistic. So I don't want to just make, make a kata that doesn't have any connection with reality. <laughs> By doing it with a partner, you understand that all these movements are powerful but soft. They're not soft, they're not powerful. 